Mozart is back. Yes, it is 2024, and the composer who's been dead for a couple centuries is finally making new music. What the heck is going on? Well, I want to cover this because Mozart is honestly my favorite composer of all time. I love so much Mozart. Mozart means a lot to a lot of other musicians and composers, so we're going to kind of dive into what kind of blew up over the past couple days in the classical music world, which isn't really something that happens in mainstream media. But basically, Mozart made the front page of Reddit all over all sorts of news articles, all kinds of crazy stuff of Mozart releasing new music or new music dropping and all this crazy stuff. So you'll understand what happens when I show you all the articles and all the memes and stuff. So let's check it out. So on the front page of Reddit a couple of days ago, two days ago, as a matter of fact, so new Mozart dropping from brand new sentence is basically what kind of blew up, got over 30,000 upvotes, which for classical music and bread in general is just absolutely insane. So this bad boy right here, this is my little figurine of Mozart, just made new music. But actually what really happened was previously unknown Mozart material or composition or music was discovered in a German library. So we're going to read how the hell this happened, what it's, we're going to listen to it, obviously, you know, what it sounded like and all sorts of crazy stuff. So I'm really excited. I've already listened to it a little bit and I found it and basically we're going to de deep into what the heck happened the other day. We got Mozart new album before GTA 6. I would have never possibly predicted his Mozart being real quiet version. Oh my gosh, that's great. I love all the memes that people are embracing, whether you're into this stuff or not. I think people just find it really funny that Mozart, a guy who's literally been dead for so many years, is, you know, his music is getting discovered and all this crazy stuff. It has happened before with other artists and other composers. This isn't the first time something has come up like this where a composer or a musician or something like that passes away and then unreleased work gets discovered and re-uploaded whether it's on their computer that they didn't finish a song or whether it's you know something that they just hand wrote or something like that so post on the guardian that's pretty legit so that's pretty crazy so piece dating back from 1760s probably composed when mozart was in his early teens undiscovered okay so a previously unknown piece of music composed by Mozart when he was probably in his early teens has been uncovered in Germany. The piece dates to the mid to late 1760s and consists of seven miniature movements for a string trio lasting about 12 minutes. And in the library is a statement on Thursday. Okay, I would love to try to pronounce that, but I am not good. Maybe it's like Leipzig Municipal Library. Okay, it's a city in Germany. Okay. In, born in 1750, Mozart was a child prodigy, blah, 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 composing at a very young age. Researchers discovered the work in the city's music library while compiling the latest edition of his catalog, the definitive archive of Mozart musical works. Okay. The newly discovered manuscript was not written by Mozart himself, but was believed to be a copy made in about 1780. That's what I was talking about earlier. So this piece, which is not something that's totally uncommon. The manuscript consists of dark brown ink on medium white handmade paper and the parts are individually bound they said describe the piece as preserved in a single source in which the attribution of the author suggests that the work was written before Mozart's first trip to Italy according to the municipal libraries so one little thing that I found on this article in particular is that they said that the reason why they partially think that when he was when he was younger is because of how he initialed it the score however is not the young composer's hand instead the researchers believe it was copy made around 1780 which is totally normal nothing weird about that so the individual parts, violin one, violin two, and bass are bound individually within it. Although the work is not earth shattering in its originality, it does mark a significant piece in the puzzle regarding Mozart's compositional output. The work had its first modern premiere, oh my goodness, in Salzburg on Thursday, September 19th, 2024. That's freaking insane. It received its German premiere two days later at the Leipzig Opera House. Okay, so we're going to look at the score. Like, So is this the photocopied version of this thing? Okay, so this is in German, so just, just be mindful of that. Okay, it's actually pretty clear. You can kind of see 
sort of what's going on here. Oh my goodness, it's just insane to see something like this and to see some kind of that, that chaotic and fast writing because we're so used to inputting things into computers. They were like, I want to get this this stuff done. So they just, they wrote kind of as fast as they could and they even, you know, had to notate their own lines for everything, which is crazy. But you can still kind of figure out what's going on with everything. So this looks like it's the the bass, I'm assuming. So that's the violin right here. So you can see this violin part looks pretty legit, okay? So very, very fast piece, obviously. This is like totally, total Mozart. When I play this for you, you guys are going to be like, oh, yeah, that's Mozart. If you know Mozart stuff and you hear it, you know that this is Mozart. Okay, so this is the second violin right here. So we're right so far with everything. Pretty wild to see this stuff in all honesty. It's almost like like baffling to me. The memes are perfect. Bravo. This is why I'm waiting for all day for this to drop. Danke. Can't wait for this next his next banger. I'm so glad to live in this era. I do new Mozart music. It's like crazy that even though I know a lot of this stuff is, you know, people just joking around about it. It's it's insane. It's freaking insane to me at least. So this is the previously unknown work. So let's just kind of dive into it and let's hear it. <laughs> Already, you can kind of hear that this is total, total standard Mozart piece. It sounds absolutely, absolutely Mozart. It's there's no question about it. It's you know we're when what the key of C is that what it is? Boom in the key of C major totally normal tonic and dominant all that really good stuff the classic classical era you can hear the themes already being developed you can hear like good 16th notes coming in and everything it's pretty crazy it's it's total total mozart <laughs> It's funny too because it's almost got like a Vivaldi feel. Like it's got that dun 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 dun. It's very, it's very just after the Baroque era, right? So there's more rules that are going to be kind of broken here. But if you notice too, the dynamics that he's using are very, very powerful. And that's something that Mozart was honestly a master at, obviously, even at a young age, like he's doing now. But Mozart really knew how to move people and he knew how to make people feel certain emotions that weren't just boring because a lot of composers would kind of default to, oh, when you feel sad, it's got to be, you know, slower and it's got to be just piano or it's got to be something that's very mellow with no bounce. But if you listen to even Mozart's Requiem or his opera where he's talking about his the passing of his father and stuff, Don Giovanni, all of it is very in your face it's very intense and mozart was just brilliant at bringing out those emotions like that <laughs> so now we're kind of starting to repeat a very similar theme right now what are we doing we're going right into the relative minor as we all knew he would right into a minor just a the perfect ending right to this entire section so now i'm assuming we're going to another section so in this part we're starting to sound like we're what well since we're doing allegro it sounds like we're in g major right so we're not too far away in the circle of fifth so it's totally common to get over into that key
one and one thing that Mozart does really good is he knows how to come to a halt with things, right? So whenever he's bringing on that energy and he's getting to that cadence, he always knows ba 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 right? He's very very good at developing and resolving. You can tell that we're more in the classical era because of all the chromatic stuff that Mozart does, which is super duper common for Mozart is just kind of utilizing those accidentals a little bit. The nice thing about having a trio or a quartet or something like that is you're going to be able to hear all of the dynamics and all the roughness with the bows and everything with these instruments and especially with something like Mozart where he likes that rough edge on a lot of his stuff and he likes that nice push with the sounds. Honestly, a trio is like perfect for something like this. It's a total Mozart melody, right? It's very, very standard. If you want some other tunes that are a little bit like it, I can point you in the right direction for that. So Honestly, a lot of the stuff from the Mozart Immersive that I went to, all of these sound just like it. If you just listen to something like, where is it, the, the second one on Dante. It sounds literally just like that, but a slower version. There's, there's a lot of other really good stuff in here. So I'll leave this this link down here. But yeah, we're here. We got new Mozart. It's pretty crazy. Now you, now all the classical snobs can 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 rest and and enjoy it and uh yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Definitely go check out his stuff and I'll see you guys next time.